Avalanche is a new blockchain that became very popular in 2021. It claims to be a better Ethereum with more transactions per second and lower fees all thanks to a revolutionary blockchain technology. Is the hype justified and as a developer should you pay attention to Avalanche? If you are new here, I'm Julian and on Indoblox I teach blockchain development. Avalanche was launched in 2018 by a computer scientist called Emin Gunsirer and his company Avalabs. Avalabs has a great team with former employees from Google and Microsoft. The native token of Avalanche is Avax. It's the 16th biggest crypto with a market cap of $13 billion and a maximum supply of 720 million tokens. Avax tokens can be staked in exchange of rewards either by running a validator yourself or delegating to a validator. On Avalanche, transaction fees are paid with Avax and they are burned. Avalanche is a deflationary token. However, be aware that many tokens from the ICO are going to get gradually released in the next few years, which could cause a selling pressure. Avalanche has 343 projects as of October 2021. Some of the biggest projects include Banky and Pangolin, both developed by Avalabs. And we also have some Ethereum DeFi projects that added a deployment to Avalanche like Aave and Curve. Avalanche is able to achieve 4,500 transactions per second, way more than Ethereum. The transaction fees cost 10 times less than Ethereum. It has currently thousands of nodes, which make it less decentralized than Ethereum. For the consensus mechanism, it uses delegated proof of stake. Avalanche is composed of four elements. The primary network, which validates all other chains, like the beacon chain on Ethereum 2.0. The X chain is used for creating and trading on-chain assets. The P chain coordinates validators. The C chain is for smart contract, and it's also possible to create other chains with a custom virtual machine. To build DeFi applications on Avalanche, you want to use the C chain. The C chain is EVM compatible, which means you can reuse most of the development tools for Ethereum, like Solidity or OpenZipLink. For local development, you can use Ganache, even if they don't mention it in the documentation. If you want a more realistic development environment, you can use a CLI tool called Avash. And finally, you can also use the testnet of Avalanche. In conclusion, is it worth it to invest your time in Avalanche? I really like that they bring some real innovation. If I had to compare them with another project, I would say Avalanche reminds me of Polkadot with its system of parachain. If you want to build a project on the Avalanche ecosystem, be aware that they have a grand program for new projects. What do you think? Is Avalanche a credible alternative to Ethereum? Let me know in the comments down below.